You had a, a dinner that was reported about not too long ago, Mr. Secretary. <laughs> There's a dinner with the president, uh, the Fed chair, as well as the Fed vice chair. Has the president expressed to you a, a change in opinion of how Jerome Powell is doing? Well, I think it was a productive dinner on Monday night. We had talked about uh, it, the potential for the Fed chair to meet the president. This is something that's occurred in the past. Uh, I extended that invitation to Jay Powell on Friday at the request of the president. And we, we had a very casual dinner up, up in the residence. I think it was quite productive. Chairman Powell uh, gave the president a, an overview of the economy and what he was seeing, which was uh, quite strong and consistent with his public comments. And the president was quite engaged. We talked about everything from the economy to uh, the golf match with Tiger and Jack to the, the, the Super Bowl. We covered a, a wide range. It was, a, I think, a terrific meeting for them to get to see each other. They had not met since uh, Jay Powell was put into office. So I think it was a productive meeting. Was there any acknowledgment of the pivot that the Fed chair has made in terms of his language and his message to the markets between October 3rd or even the end of December to the beginning of January, there was a marked pivot in terms of the, of the Fed language and how it views future rate hikes and its balance sheet. Uh, the Fed chair was very consistent in what he said to the president with what he's been saying publicly uh, in his press conferences. I think that uh, the, the Fed chair has been very clear in, in uh, looking at the economy and the Fed being clear that they have lots of different tools. And it's, it's their job to continue uh, to focus on the growth of the economy. Right now, inflation is quite low, which is a, a very, very good thing. So, uh, I, again, I thought it was a very productive meeting. It was a, a casual meeting, and uh, we enjoyed a, a wide range of topics with the president up in the Was residence. there a thank you from the president to the Fed chair? Thank you, uh, Mr. Yeah. Fed chair, for, for being easier now on rates. No, there, were, there, were, there was not a thank you. There was a thank you for coming for dinner in both directions and, and, <laughs> and in very good conversation. How, how do you guys walk that line? You know the line, right? I mean, it's supposed to be an apolitical office, and I understand, but there's questions you probably have with the Fed chair. They might have for the White House and the Treasury Secretary. Are there preset parameters when you go in? Don't talk. How do you guys walk that fine line? Because I'm sure the president, just knowing his personality, would like to say, to Melissa's point, you're going to raise rates again this year. Well, I meet with Jay Powell every week. We we have a very productive relationship. This has been a, a relationship that other Treasury secretaries and Fed chairs have had for a long period of time. We talk about a wide wide range of issues every week. Everything from the U.S. economy, international economies, regulatory issues. Uh, I update the Fed on everything from our trade discussions to things that I'm hearing. The Fed, with their reserve banks all over the U.S., have tremendous information, not only in the numbers, but the, 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 the information that they're hearing back. So we, we have very open uh, two-way dialogues. As it relates to the, the dinner with the president, there were no preset parameters. I think uh, Jay Powell was very clear that he, he wasn't going to say anything in private and consistent with what he said publicly. Uh, although uh, we did have somewhat of a covert operation getting him into the White House, so it didn't create speculation. Jay Powell put out a statement right after the meeting. We weren't trying to hide this. And, uh, you know, again, it's something we'll contemplate again in the future. It's consistent with there have been meetings between presidents and Fed chairs in the past.